Hey everybody, Mac Guy Jaren here. Today I'm gonna unbox my new Razer Core X eGPU and get it set up on my 2013 Mac Pro trash can. Before we get started, please take a second, slam that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for more crazy and fun tech videos. We're going to start off by clearing some of this stuff out of the way and focusing on the Razer Core X eGPU. I'll grab my knife, cut it open. Then the first thing we're greeted with is a small black box. Inside the black box we have the power cord as well as a USB-C or a Thunderbolt 3. Then we got to pull out the center insert which will reveal the eGPU in between the two big styrofoam pads. What I found is it's virtually impossible to pull this out going straight up. So after trying three times, about two more times than I should have, I decided to flip the eGPU and the box on its side so that I could just slide it out. Now that we have it out on the desk, we can go ahead and remove the two styrofoam pads that secure it go ahead and take off the plastic wrapper now that we have it out we can spin it around take a look at it to get inside it we just go ahead and grab this handle and gently pull it right out the first thing you're going to see is these two big styrofoam pads, which is a GPU sizing guide. In case you didn't know if your GPU was big enough or not, I guess. There's a little screw that's covering the plate that goes over the slot where your display ports will be. Just got to remove that, take it out. After that, we're ready to go ahead and install the graphics card. I chose an AMD RX 580. I just happen to have it sitting around. It just slots right in like a normal graphics card that you would install into a tower. After we see it seated in correctly, we can go ahead and undo the two Velcro straps that are holding both 8-pin connectors onto the fan here. Once we have the 8-pin connector plugged into the GPU, we can go ahead and screw the screw in that holds the GPU down into the casing here. And I'm going to take these two Velcro straps that came with it and just go ahead and strap the second 8-pin cable back to the fan so it doesn't wiggle around or get jammed into one of the fans while it's running. Now we can go ahead and grab the enclosure, bring it back over, and gently slide the GPU back into the casing, and then turn that handle flush with the case. This will make sure that it's locked so that the GPU won't slide out of the enclosure. After that, we can go ahead and push the eGPU aside, and I picked up a Thunderbolt 2 to USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 cable 
in order to make it compatible for my Mac Pro 2013. We have to kind of do a little bit of a workaround. You take a USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 and then you take a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 2 cable and you connect those two. The USB-C goes into the eGPU while the Thunderbolt 2 end plugs in to your Mac Pro 2013. Now that we have the eGPU all set up, we can go to the computer we're going to install, install the eGPU on. We're going to head over to Purge Wrangler, which if you just Google Purge Wrangler Big Sur, that will pull up the website. should be the first one. Click on it. Then we're going to click on Beginner's Guide. That's going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up an eGPU on the MacBook Pro 2013. We've already got our hardware set up, so the next step we need to do is disable the system integrity protection. In order to do that, we're going to have to turn the computer off and boot it into recovery mode. So just go ahead, go up to the left, turn off the computer. Once your computer is off, push and hold Command R, then push the power button and make sure that you continue holding Command R until your computer gets past this loading screen and shows the recovery menu. Once inside the recovery menu, go up to Utilities and click Terminal. Then you're going to type in CSR UTIL space disable. That's going to disable the first part of system integrity. Then there's an additional step now for Big Sur, which is disabling authenticated root. The command to do that is CSR UTIL space authenticated dash root space disable. Once you've entered in both of those commands, you can restart your system. Once you're logged back in, go back to the Purge Wrangler site, click on Beginner's Guide again. Now that we've completed steps one, two, now we'll go to step three, which is copying this piece of code and pasting it into a terminal window. It's really easy. You just click Launch Pad, go to Other click terminal paste it right in there and click enter it's going to ask for your computer password type that in hit enter and then the program is going to pop up and you want to click on num you want to enter number 1 which is set up eGPU it will ask which brand of graphics card you're going to use. I'm using an AMD and then it will ask a few yes or no questions. Once you've answered those you will get a prompt that asks you to restart the computer and it will do it automatically. After you restart the computer you need to make sure that you do a couple of things before you plug in the eGPU. You need to make sure there's only one monitor plugged in to your actual Mac Pro. This Thunderbolt display that you can see on the screen right now is my one monitor that is plugged in to my actual Mac Pro into the AMD Fire Pro graphics card. The other three monitors that I use 
are plugged in to the eGPU. So now that you're logged in on your one monitor that's plugged into your computer, you can take the Thunderbolt 2, connect it to your USB-C to Thunderbolt 2, and plug that Thunderbolt 2 connection into your Mac Pro, which will enable the eGPU to start up and hopefully your computer recognizes it at this point. If everything was done correct, you will see a little microprocessor up in the top of your screen, which symbolizes your eGPU. And the three monitors, or however many monitors you have plugged into your eGPU, will now be displaying the correct image showing that your computer is in fact now working now that I've verified everything is up and working correctly with the eGPU, I'm going to go ahead and run Geekbench 5 to see where my computer benchmarks with the new eGPU as opposed to its original AMD Fire Pro graphics card. As you can see, my Mac Pro 2013 received an OpenCL score of 36,332. Now to put that in comparison, the Opus Open, excuse me, the OpenCL score my trash can Mac received before adding the eGPU was 21,383. So by adding the eGPU to my Mac Pro, I was able to achieve nearly a 70% increase in my benchmark score. That's all for today. Again, this is Mac Guy Jaren. We'll see you next time.